Namaste and welcome to Namaste Yoga. My name is Surbhi. I am a yoga teacher. The goal of my channel is to tell you all those little tips and tricks that many yoga teachers know, but somehow in class setting, they do not get conveyed to the students. So let's start today's session. In today's video, we are going to talk about Markatasana. We are going to talk about the benefits of the Markatasana, different types of Markatasana and how you can do all of them. And also, if you are not flexible, then what precautions that you need to take or what things that you need to make sure when you are doing Markatasana. So please watch the video till the end as the information will keep on coming till the end. Markatasana is a really good pose for our spine. It keeps our spine healthy and strong. It can be done by anybody from kids to all the way to old age. Even if you are suffering from lower back, whether mild lower back or severe lower back, or you have a slip disc, or you have a bulging disc, it does not matter. Everybody can do Markatasana. The only thing is, if you are suffering from slip disc or bulging disc or lower back pain then you do it very slowly watch every movement markatasana will help you relieve from all the back pain and it can make your back stronger so if you are suffering from pain then you do markatasana for at least three to four times throughout the day if you do not have any pain you just want to keep your back healthy then just doing it once in the morning should be enough also, if you are only doing Markatasana, then you just do Markatasana. But if you are doing Markatasana with all the other yoga, uh, yogasanas or other exercise, then it is a good idea to do Markatasana at the end. So do it as a cool down. And after that, you lie in Shavasana. Now, there are four different ways that you can do Markatasana. We will go through each of them one at a time. So you follow me precisely. Lie down on your back. Then make sure your heels are close to your hips. It depends totally on the flexibility, how flexible you are. So just try to keep them closer to your hips and keep your knees together, feet together. All your feet, your calf muscle, your knees, your thighs, everything is touching together. Then spread your arms out wide so your shoulder and your wrist is in one line. So your arm should not go up and not down, straight. <coughs> Once you have this position, then very slowly take a breath and drop your knees on one side and look in the other direction. Then you again Exhale, come back and inhale, drop your knees on the other side and your neck goes in the opposite direction. So when you're dropping your knees, make sure your feet are together, your knees are together, your shoulder is staying on the ground. If you are not flexible, then your shoulder might come up like this. Please don't do that. What you can do instead, because if there is no flexibility in the body, either your shoulder is going to come up. If you try to put your shoulder down, your knees will come up. So in this situation, what you do is keep your shoulder down. Both of the shoulder blades should be on the ground. And if your knees are coming up, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Put a pillow or a yoga block underneath so you can rest your legs on that and slowly slowly with practice every day you will be able to take your knees down and open your body like that so let me show this to you from this side if your shoulder is coming up keep your shoulder down and if your knees goes up just put a yoga block here or a blanket and rest like this look in the opposite direction and slowly, slowly with practice, you can start taking the block off and your knees will come down. So this technique goes to all of the poses. 
all kinds of market asana that I'm going to tell you. In all of them, you have to make sure that your both of your shoulder blades are on the ground. And the next way that you can do market asana is you can spread your feet wide, not too wide, just enough that they are aligning with your hips. Your knees are away from each other. Again, hands on your sides and then you drop your knees like this. So your one knee comes close to your other foot and again look in the opposite direction. And inhale, come to the center. Again, take a deep breath in and drop on the other side. And inhale and come to the center. So that's the other way. The third way that you can do Markatasana is straighten both of your legs and then raise your left leg up and drop it. Inhale and drop it on one side. Now this totally depends on the flexibility. You, if you want, you can touch your hand or hold on to your toe. If you cannot go all the way, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But make sure that shoulder is on the ground. And same way, I'm going to show you the other side. Raise your leg. Inhale. Drop. If you can hold on to your toe, that's fine. If you're not flexible, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You can keep your leg here. But make sure your shoulder stays on the ground. Like that. And come back and relax. That was the third way to do Markatasana. And the last way to do Markatasana, which is my favorite, is keep one foot on your other knee like this. So if right foot is on the left leg, with your left hand, press your knee in the opposite direction. So inhale and press it in the opposite direction. Why this is my favorite is if you are not flexible, then you can use this hand to press the knee down while you keep the shoulder on the ground like this and stay in this position and slowly come back same way opposite hand hold your knee inhale drop your knee down hold this position and with the inhale come back up like that and always once you are done with Malkatasana, lie down in Shavasana for 5 to 10 minutes. That would be the end of your yoga practice. Now, when you are in the pose, when you are in Malkatasana, when you are twisting, try to stay in that pose for at least 30 seconds for the maximum benefits. Now 30 seconds each side, you have to do both sides. Which pose that you want to do with folding legs or wide legs or straight leg that is totally up to you it does not matter which one all of them are equal so whichever you feel comfortable with go with that once you inhale and go in the pose if you want you can hold your breath if you are comfortable if you are not comfortable holding your breath you can just keep breathing it it's okay it does not really matter but if you have high blood pressure or you are suffering from headache, then please do not hold your breath. If you are staying there longer, you can stay in Markada Asana for as long as one minute. You do not have to hold your breath. If you just want to enjoy that stretch, nice stretch of your spine and stay in that position for long. Keep breathing, don't try to hold your breath. And make, make sure that once you are doing it on one side, always do it on the other side. Your neck always goes in the opposite direction of your legs. So that was the dissection of Markatasana today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. 
If you have any question or concern, please feel free to write them in the comment box. I would love to answer them. If you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. You can also subscribe to the channel membership for exclusive videos. I wish you all a very happy and healthy day. Namaste.